Good morning, First Baptist Church Irwin family. Uh, I am uh, pleased to be invited into your homes virtually this morning. This is our March 23rd uh, morning uh, spiritual moment, our morning devotional. Uh, what I would like to do every morning this week is to just gather together as a community, a virtual community at 1030 a.m. where we will uh, pray and uh, read scripture together and uh, see possibly what that scripture has to say to us and in, in our lives in this particular situation that we're in. But thank you for joining me. I see that our audience is, is building as we speak. Just a few an announcements before we get started. One is continue to monitor uh, Facebook, your email, and your voicemail because we're going to update you throughout this week. The plan is, as I mentioned last week, is to have another uh, virtual uh, week of worship this week and then possibly come back Palm Sunday, which is April 5th. Um, again, we will keep you updated regarding that April 5th date. I hope we can come back and gather together in person as a community. But uh, in the meantime, we will continue to utilize our YouTube channel and Facebook uh, to get out any information we need to get out to you. Uh, I hope that even though we are not meeting in person, that this uh, virtual community uh, will bring you some hope uh, and it will uh, allow you to know that you are not in this alone, that as a church family, we are in this together. So just a few announcements again, 10.30 a.m., uh, every day this week, Monday through Friday, we'll have morning devotion. At 1.30 p.m. every day this week, uh, Miss Janie Berry will be doing a children's sermon, so please have your children tune in uh, to Facebook or to our YouTube page, and that is a way for our kids to stay connected uh, to uh, what is happening in the life of our church. And Wednesday, we'll have a Wednesday morning our Wednesday evening prayer time at 6.30 p.m. Uh, please join in. That will be on our YouTube channel and on Facebook, and we will have a normal Wednesday service. So I hope that all of these different things that we're doing will be a way for you to experience community uh, during these weeks of social distancing. Okay, so we're going to begin with prayers of intercession. Uh, if you uh, have um, maybe your prayer list handy that we emailed you to, uh, to you this week that might be helpful. Uh, if you have your uh, Bible handy, that would also be helpful. Our scripture text is James 1, 12 through 16. So if you will open it up uh, to the first chapter of James. But before we enter our time of uh, scripture reading and discussion, we're going to go into this uh, a prayer time. Uh, I will give you an opportunity uh, to be able to pray silently. So I will start us off in prayer, and then you will have the opportunity to offer to our Lord uh, prayers of intercession. So at this time, please join me in prayer. We, your servants, Give you humble thanks, almighty God, for all your gifts so freely bestowed upon us and all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of life. Above all, for the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the hope or glory and for the means of grace, we thank you, O Lord. Grant us such an awareness of your mercies, we pray, that with truly thankful hearts, we may give you praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves for your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all of our days. Hear us, O Lord. We offer prayers for all those with whom we share the journey, those who have been given to us and to whom we have been given those to whom we promised our faithfulness and our prayers, especially
Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Amen. Our scripture text for this morning is again James 1, 12 through 16. I will read the text for us and I will be utilizing the message translation. Anyone who meets a testing challenge head on and manages to stick it out is mighty fortunate. For such persons, loyally in love with God, the reward is life and more life. Do not let anyone under pressure to give in to evil say, God is trying to trip me up. God is impervious to evil and puts evil in no one's way. The temptation is to give in to evil. Comes from us and only us. We have no one to blame but the leering, seducing flare-up of our own lust. Lust gets pregnant and has a baby, sin. Sin grows up to adulthood and becomes a real killer. So, my dear friends, don't get thrown off course. Every desirable and beneficial gift comes from heaven. Temptation is the theme of this passage. And as I uh, began thinking about this passage for this morning and about this theme of temptation, I, I started pondering about the ways uh, these days in which we are tempted. And I think uh, a, a temptation that we are facing during these days of social distancing uh, is the temptation of hoarding, of being selfish, because we are living in a world of scarcity. You go to the grocery store and, and there's scarcity. We, we're unable to find some staples, uh, eggs and, and bread and milk and, and hamburger meat, all of those things that we can run right into the grocery store and pick up. They're unavailable these days because people are scared. And, and this is the, we're living in anxious times in a world of scarcity. Um, so I think that's the temptation that we face is, is we're selfish and we're greedy and we're trying to get all of these resources for ourselves. And, and yet we serve this God of abundance. We serve a God who says, uh, be concerned with the other, not, not just yourselves. And so maybe, maybe we need God to to free us of this temptation. Maybe this is something that we need to include in our prayer lives. Think about, think about those temptations that you face on a daily basis. Maybe it's not selfishness. It's something else that God is, um, or that you are struggling with and, and yet God wants to rid you of. Let's pray about those things. Because we know, as James said, these, these temptations do not come from God. God wants, to, God wants to free us from temptation. As you go about your day today, be aware of those things and pray about those things. Pray that God will, will release you, release us from those temptations. We're going to end with the Lord's Prayer because we know that this prayer that Jesus taught us um, addresses the subject of temptation. So uh, if now, if you will join me uh, as we go to our Lord in prayer and we pray the way that, that our Lord Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. First Baptist Irwin, we are called to be the church in the world. So as we uh, go about our lives during these difficult days, these days of scarcity and anxiety and chaos, I encourage you 
to be the presence of Christ to all whom you meet. Amen.